Hi everybody, this is video two for the normal distribution and here we're gonna look at some problems uh, that you can't solve using the 6895 rule. So in this situation, I have a family of uh, harp seals near the coast of Newfoundland, Newfoundland. I'm given their mean weight and their standard deviation. Um, so question A says, what proportion of harp seals have a mass greater than 330 pounds? Well, I have marked off my picture here, 290 is the mean. Uh, and if I go over one standard deviation, I do get to 330. So I am looking for this area right here. This is not the neatest drawing I've ever done, but it'll work. But we know from the 6895 rule that 68% of observations are within one standard deviation. So therefore, this segment here and this segment here uh, have a total of 32%. So therefore, this piece is 16%. Okay, so what proportion of harp seals have a mass greater than uh, 330 pounds? 16%, okay? Question B now says, what proportion of harp seals have a mass less than 270 pounds? So I'm gonna go back to my picture here. I'm gonna erase a lot of things. It's gonna take a little bit of doing, okay? But this time we want 270 pounds. Let's think about where 270 pounds is. That would be right here we would have this space right here. This is where 270 would be. Our z-score would actually be negative one half. So we are not on a standard deviation here. So really I want this area, if I can draw a nice straight line as best as I can here. So I want this whole 16% right here, which is not neat at all. Plus I want this little slice here. And we know that between negative one and zero, that's gonna be 34%. Now here's what you can't do. You can't just take the 34% and split it in half because from this picture, uh, you can see that the area up here is quite different than the area down here. They are not equal to each other. So just taking pieces and splitting them right into half uh, would seem convenient, but it's not something we're allowed to do. So what do we do instead? Well, at this point, we need to use technology. So we're gonna to go to our old friend, uh, Desmos here, and I'm gonna show you how to use Desmos to find these um, probabilities. So the command we need is normal dist, and notice that normal dist is now no longer italicized. Uh, it means it's a command we like. And within parentheses, you're gonna tell the mean and standard deviation. In this problem, we have a mean of 290 and a standard deviation of 40. Notice that the Normal curve does not appear on the screen here, but if I use the zoom fit button here, whoop, suddenly I have a nice curve which represents the situation. And if I wanna find probabilities, I'll click the find cumulative probability button, and I can really find any probability I like. Uh, keep in mind our first problem was find a probability that you go from 330 up to, well, infinity. It defaults to infinity and that's okay. And we have a probability of 0.1586. That's our proportion here. Uh, that's not quite the 16% we got before, uh, but that's okay. 16% is a nice approximation. Uh, Desmos here is using a much more complex formula to find its uh, proportions, uh, and 16% would be a just fine answer. If I want to find the probability that we are less than 270, well, my min, I want to be negative infinity. I'm just going to leave that blank, and I'm going to do a max of 270. And I see that the proportion of seals that lie within that area is 0.3085. I usually go out four decimal places. That tends to be safe, okay? What if I wanted to go between? Notice the last question here is, what proportion of harp seals are between 240 and 320? Well, I can go back to my picture, and now I'll go between 240 and 320, and I see that I have 0.6677 is that proportion. So for these problems, you'll be allowed to use, uh, be allowed to use Desmos to find them and I encourage you to use them. You might wanna take this picture now and snip it uh, into your OneNote uh, and use it as a representation of what's going on. Okay, that's it.